Good morning. This is the uh, update to the first update to the Joshua project, and uh, I've just drawn this up in the in the last day, but it shows the uh, actual cross section what it's going to look like if you know if you actually cut the the arc uh, shelter in half, right? And uh, <coughs> I actually added a little twist into it. I'm just at the Lickman parking lot truck stop here in Chilliwack and it's election day today. Okay, I'm going to give you a blow up of the cross section here. Or bring it into focus. Oh, just by the way, uh, this is actually going to be a, it can double for a space cabin to set up on top of Whistler during the Olympics. So, you know, any of you Japanese out there, if you're interested, uh, pro provide the funding for me and I'll build, build this and you guys can uh, have it for for your country and, and, and uh, to build in other countries around the world. And I believe this is going to be really unique, not just for the homeless, but you can actually use the geometric design and the built-in self-sufficiency and maybe try it on top of a mountain to see if it works. You know, someone's got a helicopter, fly it up there, give it a try. If it works, then you can go lar larger scale. And uh, I'm sure uh, this is going to be uh, a viable means in which some funding can be generated. Just a thought, but maybe the Olympics could be used to promote the answer to the homeless situation. So that's the reason for the space cabin. And like to have it, uh, you know, by the time the Olympics come along, I'd like to see the homeless people across Canada that, you know, that where this problem is resolved. So that's my vision for not only Chilliwack and the Vancouver area, but right across Canada. Okay, let's go to the blow up here. Starting from the bottom up. Okay, looks like the camera's come out clear. I got the door to the camper open. On the bottom here, you can see a, a V support system, you know, V trailer support, and uh, it's geometrically designed and the the arc shelter actually fits onto the v, uh, v trailer support and can be strapped down and uh, that way it can be mounted onto a truck or flown to the top of a mountain or whatever there's lots of things that you can do and the the reason that I changed my mind about uh, uh, going to this making the support system part of the project part of the Joshua project is is that uh, <clears throat> the ends can be used for uh, for, for uh, like here there would be gray water storage on your left and uh, septic storage on your right so you can actually collect your your gray water and your and your uh, septic waste is totally a totally enclosed system and also here, if you if you look at the sides here, and actually going to have little flaps come out, where to where the rainwater can be collected, and uh, the water can be uh, stored in two uh, bulkheads in the in the front. The the gray water in the septic that that would be taken to the back. Okay, as you're walking in, this is your door here. The door would be a, geomet a geometric design, not your conventional, and. Uh, and you actually have your off to the sides here you would have hot water heating so you have in floor hot water heating nice warm floor in the bottom uh, you know these panels will lift up and you'll be able to access the the uh, plumbing and uh, so that's <clears throat> one thing you, you you know the kind of troubleshooted this a little bit and along with your uh, 
where your hot water, you know, you have one of, one of those hot water deals with the fins kind of inserted in there. You use the drill pipe to, to heat it, but you can also have your electrical in there too. So you probably end up having about maybe two circuits in this. All right. Moving up in the world. Okay. Let's go to floor level here. Looking at it uh, from the, you know, if you're standing there, you know, you're the top of the screen to actually be around the six foot level. Just give you an idea. Your counter would be immediately to your left here. And uh, this counter has a, a modified design where the sink pulls out. So when you're doing your dishes, you pull out your, 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 uh, you know, you got the room to pull out to uh, wash your dishes. And the top is going to have a Joe Pipe heater system, almost like the the way that wood heat is recirculated in the old wood stoves. The whole top part of the counter, be around four feet long or so, will actually be uh, one side would be a heating side, and one side would be like a warming warming side. And so there will be no open flame in this cabin that the superheated exhaust of the chill pipe will do the job to the preheat uh, 24 by 24 uh, inch wheel, right? You know, it'll give you uh, four square feet of cooking surface and I'm sure the women will be happy with that. Just have to keep the kids, you know, tell them, you know, it's hot, right? And the other, and the, and to the left of the counter you know, you have your drying oven so when you do your dishes you, you can have your dish rack on top of your your drying port and when they're done you can actually uh, you know you pull this out your dishes would fit uh, into a pre-made setup here so nothing gets broken right okay to the right you have a bench seat that folds down it's a full six foot bench seat and I forgot to mention as you're walking in you'd actually have your your uh, your restroom on the right and your shower on the left fully enclosed and if you're not using it for that you can use it for storage okay uh, right at the very end you see uh, uh, Murphy bed it's it's folded up and, and uh, fold down to to make a double so it actually uh, closes when it closes you can actually have a, a computer table that pulls out and in, in this area here and to the uh, right below that, <coughs> you have lots of, uh, uh, you know, you can put your, have a little dresser drawer or whatever, uh, one for the lady, one for the man, and to where you can put all your clothes nice and neat. And to the far left and far right, you would have uh, storage right in the back, and also storage in, in the, uh, right at the foot level. Okay, and uh, right in the very, very back, back you have a, a port window. Okay, let's go up here. How much time do we have? We have to wrap it up here. Okay, in the top part you have your skylights, or they're built in, uh, flush mount, and it's go to an expanded view real quick here. Of the wall. Okay, on the wall you basically have your your metal skin and you have your metal purlings. You have your uh, and the, you have your uh, two by four studying, your, your super truss system, which would be a double truss system. You have your uh, sheet metal flashing underneath that, your purlings again, then your finished wood. And so you would have your foam injected the first inch and a half just to cover the metal bad insulation and you have a, a three-quarter inch air gap there so that's it that completes the cross-section of the Joshua project and ready-made space cabins for the Olympics